Hey guys, how you doing? Just want to talk to you real quick about composition. Composition is one thing that you really want to think about. Now, composition is really just a fancy way of saying how you set up your page. Now, a lot of you guys have picked up some bad habits along the way. Uh, so I just want to try to touch on a few of them. All right. So you never want to use the sides or the tops edges of your page as any kind of structure in your painting. So that can't be your horizon line or a tabletop, like nothing should ever be sitting on them. Uh, now, you don't always want everything just in the middle of your page. It really depends on what you're doing. Now, you guys are doing lettering, so your lettering is going to be your main focus. So you want to make sure that everything you do drives us to look at your letters or your word. All right. Um, so, you know, think about how you want to place it. So back in the day, you probably did some little drawings like this where you had a nice little house and you use the bottom of the paper as your horizon. Maybe put a little grass in there, a tree the nice little sun, everything just really arranged itself somehow magically into your picture plane. You know, it's not very dynamic. But a few little quick things could help you really improve that. You know, if you go ahead and just, let's see another one here. So we'll move the horizon line up the page. You know, we can set the house back a little bit. You're creating just more space, more depth, which is, allows the viewer to go into your picture a little more. Um, now, I'm not saying every picture has to be 3D with spatial elements. I mean, there's tons of wonderful abstract art that has no space. Um, but when you're thinking about your composition, think about like having things leave the page and come in in like an appropriate way. You don't want to create tension. All right. Um, now, when you're going into your actual lettering, right, you're going to want to make sure that you think about having some sort of background. It's really going to help frame your work. A lot of kids will just try to make their words as big as possible. So they blast it in there. It's like, oh, okay, there's your whole paper. And then you wrote art in. And yeah, it might look cool, but you, know, you have no background. You really want to try to bring the viewer in. So try to put that spacing in a little bit more, right? So you have something to work with around the outside to make it more interesting, give it more personality. Uh, you have a lot more ways to kind of connect with somebody. So here, you know, we could just add a little 3D to it. I mean, I'm not sure really what we're going to do with it. Uh, but uh, I guess I probably shouldn't have shaded that if I wanted that part 3D. But maybe I'll, like, make some paint splotches around it. Uh, you know, maybe some that'll go over in front, some in the foreground, maybe some splots in the background. Uh, you know, maybe a paintbrush or something up front. Or um, let's say like, maybe a little spray paint can. Who knows? You know, you really want to just make sure, like, you're playing around. Sketch. Get a little quick thumbnail before you go ahead and do your big copy. It'll give you a lot more information, and it'll, you'll have a much higher chance of success. Um, so make sure you're thinking of these things. Uh, and, you know, you'll it's trial and error a lot. You're going to think about, what do I want to do? Where, where should this go? You know. It is up to you. It's your personal aesthetic. No one can tell you that it's right or wrong. All right? Take care, guys. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks. Bye.